Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of the Kindness Challenge. My name's Mary Beth, and I'm filling in for Jill again today. She's still not feeling that well, so she wanted to rest some more. Um, we had a great day yesterday. Everybody shared such amazing things that they're doing for their conscious acts of kindness. And I trust that you all got some great connections in the, in the Kindness Circle breakouts. So we'll be doing those again today. And I've already asked for some volunteers for shares from yesterday. So I've got a couple of hands raised. So Joanne, go right ahead. Hi, everybody. Um, one of the other people on the call yesterday really summed it up really good, I think, is that there's we hear all these negative things in our world today and we forget and don't really know what other people are doing to, to share kindness throughout our world. And I was just so inspired yesterday by hearing people's stories and what they're involved in. And I just think this was absolutely an inspiration for me yesterday. So thank you. And I thank everybody um, that was on the call yesterday as well as today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joanne. <laughs> Kathy. I just wanted to congratulate you, Mary Beth, on your facilitation skills you've learned a lot from being with jill for and watching her and helping her but it went very smoothly and i enjoyed the group i was in and just hearing the whole hour from various people who were sharing things so thank you thank all thank you thank you so very very much um and alexi i would ditto what uh, uh the lady just before said it, it was just so inspiring people, different things people do to show kindness. It really gave me some ideas. Um, it, it was just so inspiring. It's just like, it's gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel withdrawal symptoms once this webinar is all over. It's just my morning dose of, of vitamin K, you know, vitamin kindness. So thank you. Oh, I love that vitamin kindness. I love that. <laughs> uh, and Rosemary. I little, sorry, my little hand is covered up by this heart thing. So it's probably hard for you to see when I have my hand up. Um, again, ditto to what everybody said. And also, oh my gosh, I've already implemented. I went to the bank today and got some dollar coins. And um, once I get back to my preschoolers, it's going to be, that'll be their birthday. A nice little thing to give them on their birthday. I'm going to try to get them um, in the year of their birthday too, which would be kind of cool. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, but I, I wrote down, oh my gosh, there's so many things I'm going to start implementing. So thank you for making me busier than I already was. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> uh, Phyllis. Um, let me see. Yeah, okay. Um, I wanted to say that uh, anybody who, if, if this is your first time and this is your only experience with a kindness circle, you need to join the kindness circle you you can come once a month to the uh, kindness circles and they're like this there's a little more time it seems and a little more uh, in, involved ab able to be a little more involved but they're they're like this and they're wonderful i i love them um and there there is a charge for that but it's really you know in a sense it's nominal uh, when you think about it for the year uh, thank, also, thank you for that, Phyllis. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to be talking about that shortly, too, as well. Oh, good. I also <laughs> yes. will mention that uh, it, to the Alexi, no, it was Rosemary that's going to do the dollar coins. Uh, $2 bills, you can get them from the bank. And on the back uh, is the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And what I do on July 4th is at our church, I give them to the kids and wherever I am, if I go out to dinner or something uh, and I see kids, I... I give them the $2 bills and ask them if they know what um, what the Declaration of Independence is and, uh, you know, give them a mini, a mini lesson and give them a $2 bill. <laughs> so just That's very sweet. Another, another thing to do. I have, I've, I've got some of those put away somewhere. <laughs> they still make them and they are currency. You can spend them. I give them to my uh, great nieces and nephews, they call me their $2 bill aunt. 
<laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Alexi, did you have some, uh, something else to add? You're on mute. I bought these little hearts that I give out to people. And it would be like, you know, somebody smiles at you or you smile at them and they smile back, give them this heart. So I don't know if you can see it. It's teeny tiny. I'll just put it against, like, it, it's not even the size of my nail. Okay. And I, so see I ordered them online and you just hand them out to people, you know, give them two and tell them to forward one to somebody else. I love that. That's awesome. Maybe uh, if you have the link handy, post that in the, post that in the chat where others could get those. Yeah. I'll see if I can find it. Thank you. And Karen. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. I am, um, I live with my mom and am giving her her care. And I thought possibly the demographics of our group might have others that are in that same situation where they're caring for elderly parents. And I find that um, <clears throat> the revelation of where my kindness falls short is often when and how I care for my mom. So the kindness challenge for me on a daily basis is to um, choose patience and choose generosity and choose compassion and uh, gratitude for this season in my life and towards her. And um, it's not always easy. Um, my faith in God gives me an additional resource for that because I might not have it naturally within me, but learning to live with kindness um, for the elderly, those that are losing their capacities to function and move and be um, quick and all those kinds of things, I have to slow way, way, way down. So I don't know if maybe even one of our our, our words, I suppose patience and, and being willing to slow down um, is, might be in the same, same boat, but I'm grateful that I have this opportunity to live with her and to care for her. Um, my husband is with me and together we make a team. So I'm so grateful for that. And um, likewise, at the same time, we are at age 65, just launching our business in um, grief care. And uh, we're grief educators, speakers, writers, grief coaches, so forth. And so that I do in between um, the care for my mom. So I am, I am truly grateful for opportunities that stretch um, me to reveal what the times that I'm not as kind as I can be, and then to make that adjustment to do so. That's great. Self self awareness is, is huge for us towards that. So thank you, thank you so much for sharing. And Joanna, I'm assuming you're not Matt. So <laughs> oh, and, oh, I've got to fix that. I'm sorry. <laughs> not a problem. Yes. Um, I oh, I I just uh, I so enjoyed hearing uh, the value and what everyone has gotten from the experience, and I was just moved from what Karen said. Um, I have a a, a business coach who is caring for uh, for both of his older parents. And of course, certain conditions can be very challenging. I actually work in that space. I've been um, a Medicare uh, licensed agent and specialist with Medicare products. So usually a person, the 65 year olds are babies unless they're disabled and then, um, you know, end up. So I just really resonate even with what Karen said um, as far as that challenge and what you reminded me of, Karen, is uh, the definition of love uh, that's in the, the Bible book of 1 Corinthians 13. It starts out with what love is. And there are two things. Love is patient and kind. Mm -hmm. So when we focus on what love really is, of course you love your mother. You wouldn't have made it in life this far if you didn't have the foundation she provided for you. It's a blessing for you to have your mother. I lost my mother in 2015 and my father before that. So it's such a blessing. She's in your life. And even though it hurts to see that she's not quite the woman that she was before, as far as her strength and all of her faculties, you're, you taking care of her 
is such a tremendous uh, act of love. And um, I was just moved by that. And I'm enjoying just these few minutes with you uh, ladies. And that's all, Karen. I just, you know, I, I just see you as a blessing and you having your, your business with your husband and, and just having folks like us to try to encourage you. We're here for each other to encourage one another to um, keep up the kindness and the love because we're putting it out. And then naturally, naturally, we're, we're going to get it back and we're going to get what we need to carry on. So thank you for sharing. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you. Okay. Um, there's one thing I forgot to do yesterday, and that was to spin the wheel of names. And um, so we were talking about Jill's uh, year of kindness community. So yes, we do, we do meet once a month on the third Wednesday of the month at 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific time. And the calls are just one hour long. <clears throat> and um, we have brilliant guest speakers. We've had John Asaroff, Bob Berg, who created the Go-Giver movement. Uh, we had from the E-Women Network. We've had a Harlem Globetrotter join us. Um, and so, and the, the, the general theme is always, kind, is always kindness, but it, they take their different forms. Uh, this month on February 16th, we're having Jason Candler, who has a, the upcoming book, The $5 Difference. So I can't wait to hear what he has to say. And to register, you can go to jilllublin.com Jill slash year of kindness. The cost is just $97 for the entire year. And that includes the World Kindness Day Summit in November, which we meet for, I think it's three or four hours. And we have brilliant, we have additional guest speakers and additional breakout circles. Um, we also have a Skillshare directory where you can enter your information and refer back to it if you need some support and see, and um, how does that go? So you just, you just put your information out there and you're not allowed to put them on your mailing list. If they go to you and, and they come to your mailing list, that's great, but you're not just gonna take that list and say, oh goody, I got a bunch of new contacts. <laughs> Um, <laughs> excuse me, I'll post this in the, post in the chat for you. Jillublin.com slash year of kindness. And again, we meet just once a month, the third Wednesday of the month at 10 o'clock Pacific, one o'clock Eastern. So now back to the wheel of names. And I'm going to give away a membership to the year of kindness. And since I forgot to do it yesterday, I'm gonna do another one a little later in the call. <laughs> Share screen. Okay, now you're supposed to be present to win and there's a lot of names here and not a lot of people here. So your chances of winning are probably pretty good today, but we're not gonna to go too crazy spinning the wheel over and over again to find somebody who's here. <laughs> is not with us today, so we're going to spin it one more time. Sandra's not here. Okay. Why don't Last you uh, just stick your finger out and poke one and, and pick it <laughs> of the people who are here? Oh, that's that's easier said than done. Is it? <laughs> Give me one second. Last one. Last try.
Rosemary here? She is. Oh, yeah, she good. Is. That's right. She talked. A little Yay. bit. Yay. Congratulations, Rosemary. I'll get you those I'm details excited. soon. Thank good. you. Um, good. The, um, Mary, the meetings are 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific on the third Wednesday of the month. Okay. So let's, um, why don't we do some breakouts? Uh, we'll do, I'll set that up right now. And we'll do the sharing like we did yesterday. Um, you just tell, you know, introduce yourselves, take two minutes a person, um, introduce yourself, say what you do and what support you can offer to others, and then ask for what you need next in your business. So let's see. Oops. And we'll do 10 minutes. And there's three, there's gonna be three to four in a room. And uh, yeah, just uh, share, share the kindness. <laughs> uh, does anybody have any questions before we go in? All righty, breakout rooms are opening. See you in 10 minutes. group too. We all have things in common and we can help one another to grow. That's, Thank you, it's amazing to have all four of us have touch points together that each one of us could build upon. So we're connecting on LinkedIn. We're going to follow up with someone one-on-ones. Excellent. Excellent. I love that. I love that. Joanne. Hi. Well, I am Okay, I just had, um, again, same as what the other people, you're put in a group because you're meant to be there. But I wanted to um, just ask you a question, Mary Beth. Karen Nicola um, told us all of us when she first started, she's in taking care of her mom things, but we didn't have a chance to ask her what we could do for her. Is there a way we can find out? Um, we didn't have enough time. Okay, if you want to put it, um, Karen, do you want to put it in the chat? How, what, what support you need? Uh, thank you for bringing that up, Joanne. And Laura. Hi, sorry, I had to unmute. Um, I too um, really appreciate that it was a serendipitous group where we can all help one another. And uh, Karen, thank you. Um, it will be great to uh, interview you. And also um, uh, there's uh, Karen, uh, Rebecca Van Dam. That's a three word name. Rebecca Van Dam is apparently a social media pro here in Canada. And if you'd like to email me, I can give you more information. Mine is Laura Nashman at rogers.com. And I can tell you more about her because I heard you just before we left the group, you said, I need some social media help. So please uh, reach out or I'll reach out to you to share her information. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's do, let's spin the wheel of names again. can find my way too many windows open way too many <laughs> okay for another uh membership in the year of kindness <laughs> Here. There she is. Are you already in, are you already in the year of kindness? No, I'm not. Okay, wonderful. Well, welcome. We're glad to have you join us. Thank you. Congratulations. 
Okay. Um, let's see. We should probably touch on the the seven the seven pathways of kindness. So, and I think what we'll do is we'll we'll take turns. What do these uh what do each of these mean to you? So the seven pathways of kindness are generosity, compassion, gratitude, positivity, flexibility, patience, and connection. And as I said yesterday, um, when you were all sharing your conscious acts of kindness, that you many of you were touching on more than more than one of these pathways. So, so that we'll have enough time for another breakout session and an, another chance to connect with one another. Let's take like maybe one, one minute a piece. So who, who'd like to speak on uh, generosity? What does that, what does it mean to you? Cindy. So generosity uh, for me oftentimes is taking giving of time to others, making time for others, looking, you know, in the eye of others, being generous in really being present for that other person, knowing what they're doing is uh, important to them or what they're involved in or what their needs are. So I had that experience in talking with someone and I received, it just popped in my head. Uh, thank you um, for your generosity and time. So I think just we never know what somebody is is in need of or where they're at. If we can just be generous of our time and our presence to hold that space for somebody. Excellent. I love that. Thank you so much. Uh, next, we have compassion. Who to speak on compassion? Don't be shy. I'll go Mary Beth. <laughs> so compassion, that is where um, you really, really want to do your very best to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and, ex and just try to be more patient and calm with perhaps what they might be going through. And it's really, um, I think a good thing for us to come alongside each other and just kind of be there for one another when we are going through some tough times without using those words like, I know what you're going through. You can say phrases like, you know, man, that seems really hard. You know, is there anything I can do or just be there or, hey, just can I call you and check in on you? Compassion goes a, a long, long way. I know I was um, widowed when I was 34 years old and there's this one lady who just came and brought food and left it at my door. And, and she just didn't even want to bother me to like, because sometimes it's hard to talk when you're going through the thick of it, but knowing somebody's enough, caring enough about you to do something like that, go out of their way, make a meal first of all, and then bring it and leave it at your doorstep with no expectation back. Um, that That is compassion. It's such a beautiful thing. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. And next we have gratitude. Who'd like to speak on gratitude? I'll speak Karen, on gratitude. go ahead. Sure. Um, gratitude has become a practice that I have had in my life for a number of years now. And I keep my um, gratitudes actually listed. I, I put them down in a journal and I, um, I number them sequentially from the beginning of January to the end of December. And so I have this beautiful journal that captures what I was grateful for throughout the year. Um, so gratitude just opens up space to be more loving and kind and gracious and just aware of um, the simple, tiny beauties that are around us, as well as the big wow ones. Excellent. Excellent. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Next, we have positivity. Any takers? Kathy, go ahead. I think 
positivity is just part of my nature. It's sometimes I'm told I'm too optimistic because if anything slightly bad happens, I, I just always look for the, the learning experience or the positivity that occurred. It just is the way I live. I can't imagine not being happy in most situations. And I guess I don't always equate positivity with happiness, but that's the main piece of it, just to know that life will get better. I mean, gratitude journals definitely help with that attitude. And I think just, I read a book recently, The Gap and the Gain by Dan Sullivan, that talks about how if you set goals, you probably never will reach them all. But if you look at what you've accomplished at the gain, you'll be much more pleased with yourself. And so make more positive movements more you'll have more successes so the gap and the gain by dan sullivan in case anyone's interested excellent thank you so much Oops. flexibility <laughs> i can go mary beth it's laura go ahead rosemary uh, who else who else had uh, jeanette had there's a bunch of us. <laughs> okay, Jeanette, we'll go with you. You're on mute. Okay, there we are. I, every day I wake up and I have plans of what I'm supposed to do, but I'm very flexible about that because I want to listen to divine guidance. And so I'm known for changing around my day and Sometimes it upsets other people, but I really find that if I'm very flexible, I'm really where I need to be when I need to be there. And so it's one of my big skills of being able to just flip and do something when something else comes up. And I'm very good at taking care of emergencies because of that, I think. So anyway, I feel very flexible. <laughs> and sometimes flexibility is key. You just, you, you have to be able to roll, to roll with the punches. Like Jill texted me this morning, you've got to handle the call again today. So right. guess who's being flexible? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and patience. I'll go, Laura. Go ahead, Laura. Thank you. I've been somebody that has had to learn patience because my brain goes so quickly with creative tangents and I don't think in a linear fashion, it's all sort of tangential and inspired, inspiring, and sometimes tumultuous and ruminative. And so I, I've learned patience through taking a deep breath and through remembering that every day counts and it, you don't have to get everything done in every day. But if, if I'm aligned with my values and I do that every day, um, then I feel better. And in line with what was just spoken about flexibility, um, I actually have a book called My Results Book. And instead of a to-do list, it's merely a book. I shouldn't say merely, it's importantly the book of my results every day. And so at the end of the day, I itemize the things I got done as easy as a procrastinated call to someone I've been meaning to call or getting my taxes done or starting a diet or whatever it is, but the results make me feel much better and arrive me at a day-to-day -day patience rather than a rushing through life. I like that. I like that idea. Thank you. Well, this is what I got done today, not what I had to do, but what I did do. I like that. Yes. <laughs> and finally, connection. I'm sure there's several of you who can speak on that. Oops. Go ahead, CJ. Hi. Um, yeah, that is the most important thing that I found. Um, I connected with so many different people to be able to do the research to write my books. And it's such an important thing to be able to treat everybody as if they're a real person. Um, you know, I, I remember I was always having issues with my, my ex, who will remain nameless, because... Whenever we had anyone helping us, it was very difficult for him to 
relate to them. He was a little bit Asperger-ish. And it really taught me that, that people really value you taking the time to talk to them, to find out what makes them tick. And as a BBC, former BBC journalist, um, that was one of my skills to be able to interview people and get to the heart of what they were really about, not just ask questions and get, you know, flat information out of people. Um, and connection is so important, especially in these difficult times that we're living in right now, um, to try and have as solid and as deep connections as you can with people. Um, and, and for me, um, of all those um, values, that's the one that I find the easiest to do. I have to say patience was the hardest. So there was no way I could talk about that one. Um, but um, so, so yeah, connection is incredibly important to me. And I think community and connection and being able to do that well and being able to really relate to people, um, whatever the, of all stripes, every, every nation, every view, you know, there's, there's too much polarization these days and too much us and them. And I really want to try and get away from those kinds of attitudes. So, so that's me. Thank you. Absolutely. I love that. I love it. Thank Mary, you. Mary Beth, may I, I say something? Certainly. Um, I'm, I'm passionate about connection. I, I was waiting for the last uh, um, item here because um, I believe that it's it's sort of what life is all about, uh, and I the good times and the successes in my life have mostly come from a collaboration or a, a joint ventures or, or um, friendships. So I'm writing a book called Real Connections, uh, and it's about uh, the difference between a superficial so-called friend on Facebook versus a, a real friend. So anyway, that, I just wanted to say that that's, uh, that's my favorite thing. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, we are gonna go, we've got about 14 minutes left. So we'll go back into one more, uh, we'll go back into another kind of circle sharing and I have mixed up the rooms. You may or may not be with some of the same people. I don't actually, I just hit recreate and let the, let the system do its magic. Um, so we've got 14 minutes left. Would you guys like an extra minute or two this time around? Show of hands, you need maybe up to 12 minutes and then we'll have a couple of minutes to come back when we come back. Okay, let's do that. Mary Beth, may I ask you a quick question, please? Sure. Somebody has the most beautiful birds in the background and my dog is reacting, wondering where the sound is coming from. What sort of birds that, and where are they coming from? It's from Hawaii. <laughs> it's, the, it's the birds behind. I mean, I'm very fortunate to be in Hawaii. We're behind everybody, but, but the birds are from me. <laughs> They're are you in Maui? Where, where, which in Hawaii, yeah. Maui or Kauai? Yeah, yeah. very nice. Maui is my favorite place on the planet. Far. Me too. <laughs> Boy, but you got up early. Lovely to see you guys. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm opening the rooms now. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. I hope those were uh, more wonderful connections for everybody and that you just, once again, fate intervened and put you in with the people that you needed. Um, we are at the top of the hour. So our, our time today has come to an end. Thank you so much for joining me for the last two days. Um, a reminder about Jill's uh, year of kindness community. I've gone ahead and put the link back in the chat. It's jilllublin.com slash year of kindness. And it's $7 for the entire year. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention earlier, you also get a digital copy of her book, The Profit of Kindness, when you sign up too. So I forgot about that. Um, Kathy, I really... Um, is it? Can you make it quick? Because I have another just, call. Yes. I actually need to jump on. Go, go ahead. Okay. Could you just leave the Zoom open for maybe two minutes so we are sure to get the chats? Because a couple people just said they'll put stuff in chat. They probably haven't had time to type it. Can you do that? Um, I'm going to save the chat for my myself. I I won't have any of the private conversations. 
Um, if you click on the three dots next to the chat box and just click on save chat, it'll drop, it'll automatically save to your computer. Okay. And can we do it at, at like 9.03? You might, and you may try connecting through the Facebook group as well. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody.